This ancient garden formula makes worms swarm your soil in days. 100% natural and proven. What if I told you there's a simple, ancient trick that can bring hundreds of earthworms to your raised beds in just a few days, without chemicals, without expensive equipment, and without any guesswork? This isn't a myth or a gimmick. It's a natural formula that awakens your soil and turns dull dirt into a living, breathing ecosystem teeming with life. In today's Soil and Crops Central video, I'll reveal the exact mixture, down to the teaspoon, that can make worms appear as if summoned by magic. Before we dive into the formula, let's understand why worms are the ultimate garden workers. These small, tireless creatures are nature's soil engineers. Beneath the surface, they tunnel and churn, loosening compacted earth and drawing oxygen deep into the root zone. Each worm can move up to 10 times its own weight in soil every single day. In the process, they create channels that help roots breathe and water drain efficiently. But their greatest gift is their castings, the dark, nutrient-rich fertilizer that's naturally balanced with nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Healthy soil is alive with worms. Their presence signals fertility, moisture, and balance. Their absence, on the other hand, means your soil is struggling, depleted, suffocated, or starved of organic life. So how do we bring them back fast? This powerful worm summoning recipe isn't complex, but its effect is remarkable. It's a centuries-old method that farmers once used to revive barren fields after long, dry seasons. The ingredients are entirely natural, easy to find, and when combined, they trigger an underground invitation that worms can't resist. Start with one cup of fine compost or vermicompost. This will introduce living microbes and the earthy aroma that attracts worms from afar. Add two tablespoons of molasses, which acts as an energy source for those microbes. When microbes feed, they multiply rapidly, and worms follow them like magnets. Then, mix in one teaspoon of finely ground eggshell powder. This simple addition supplies calcium and balances the soil's pH while strengthening the worm's body walls. Finally, add a small handful of your existing garden soil or finished compost. This inoculates the mixture with native bacteria, tiny life forms already adapted to your garden's environment. Once you have your ingredients, pour in 5 liters of dechlorinated water. If you only have tap water, simply let it sit overnight to allow the chlorine to evaporate. Stir slowly until it turns into a rich, earthy tea. What you've created is a living brew, an ancient soil activator that transforms lifeless dirt into a worm paradise. Sprinkle this mixture evenly across your raised beds once every two weeks. Within a few days, something extraordinary begins to happen. Beneath the surface, the molasses fuels bacterial growth, creating warmth and releasing carbon dioxide. These are two of the strongest signals worms recognize. They sense that life has returned to the soil. Drawn by the scent and vibration of microbial activity, they begin to migrate upward, tunneling toward the source. At the same time, the calcium from the eggshells fortifies their body structures, supporting healthy reproduction. Within a week, you'll notice small, dark pellets, worm castings, appearing across the soil's surface. That's your first visible proof that the underground ecosystem is alive again. With each passing day, your soil becomes looser, darker, and more fragrant. So, why does this simple mix work so well? Well, it's because it mimics what nature does after rainfall. Out in the wild, worms come to the surface not just for moisture, but because water activates a bacterial bloom. The combination of sugars, microbes, and organic matter creates an irresistible scent that signals fresh food and safe soil. By replicating that cycle with this tea, you're essentially simulating a natural rain event loaded with nutrients. The result is a soil habitat worms just can't ignore. This process doesn't just attract worms, it multiplies them. Under ideal moisture and temperature conditions, red wrigglers can double their population every 60 to 90 days. That means in one growing season, your raised bed can transform from lifeless to thriving, sustained entirely by natural processes. If you're managing larger garden beds or even small farm plots, you can scale this formula easily. 
Just mix 5 liters of your worm tea with 100 liters of water and apply monthly. For medium gardens, dilute 5 to 10 milliliters in 20 liters of water and apply every 3 weeks. Even a tablespoon mixed in 5 liters of water is enough for small raised beds, applied once every 2 weeks. Consistency is key. The microbes need time to build a network of life, and worms follow shortly after. You can enhance the effect further by adding a small amount of vermicast extract at a ratio of 1 part extract to 10 parts water. Modern organic farmers use this as a bioactivator to speed up microbial colonization. And for those who enjoy a purely natural approach, materials like banana peels, coffee grounds, and a thin layer of cow manure compost create slow-release worm attractants rich in potassium and carbon. Covering your soil with a light mulch of straw or dried leaves maintains the moisture that worms love most. Within two to three weeks, the difference becomes obvious. The soil's color deepens, its texture softens, and a rich, earthy scent begins to rise each time you water. If you dig gently beneath the surface, you'll find dozens, sometimes hundreds, of red wrigglers weaving through the roots. Their tunnels improve drainage, reduce compaction, and keep your soil aerated. Plants grown in such conditions develop stronger root systems, absorb nutrients more efficiently, and show greater resilience against drought, pests, and disease. Every handful of this living soil becomes a world of activity, a partnership between earth, water, and life itself. This isn't just another garden hack. It's a rediscovery of a natural law that farmers have understood for centuries. When you feed the soil, the soil feeds you. This ancient mixture doesn't just attract worms. It awakens the entire ecosystem that sustains your crops from beneath the surface. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to Soil and Crops Central, like and share it with fellow growers. Together we can bring our soils back to life, one handful at a time.